Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Now close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Perhaps you feel a bit battered and bruised from the ups and downs of today. If so, this is a special moment to take hold of the comfort that Jesus promises to you in Psalm 23. Sometimes the road is rocky and uncertain, but our Good Shepherd is always steady and dependable. Good Shepherd, I ask for the blessing of your comfort tonight. Direct my heart back to you. Set my devotion anew upon how good and glorious you are. There are so many demands on my time and my attention. But right now, I want to drink deeply from the eternal well of your presence. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The shepherd of Psalm 23 is described as having a rod and staff. At times the curved rod was used to forcibly grab sheep and pull them away from danger. In this way, the shepherd constantly disciplined and directed his sheep for their own good. Life may feel at times like a shepherd's rod pulling us firmly onto a new path or away from something that we thought was good. But our Lord always knows what is truly best for us. And he is always at the other end of his rod. Every tug of it brings us closer to him and the path that he wants us to walk along. And he is always there to comfort us when we cry out to him in pain or confusion. What didn't turn out as you expected today? What disappointments are you facing? Remember that all circumstances are in the Lord's hands. He is at work for your good, 
even in this. Let his staff and his rod bring you into the reassurance of his comfort, even with all of your questions and doubts. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine that you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart, where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for protecting me from dangers that I don't see or understand. I want to surrender my life to you once again tonight. For you see the way ahead and you know what is truly best for me. I put my faith in you to bring about your purposes for me. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, We know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Let's close with a final prayer. Lord Jesus, may every circumstance and unexpected event be a reminder that nothing is random. You are always at work guiding and leading me and that is a great comfort. Please continue to comfort me now so that I can have a restful and refreshing sleep. There is nowhere I'd rather be than by the side of my good shepherd. Amen.